Panasonic is a misunderstood company. Not a lot of people even know that they first started out as a seeing eye dog guide company. They developed and trained dogs for old men who couldn't see. They weren't very good at that either. A lot of the dogs just stole the groceries of the old men and ran off to have sex with other dogs. Let us discuss today, even if the GH6 comes out with phase detect, somehow Sony let them use it for an increased cost. They charge Nikon 40 cents a piece for the phase detect pixels. Panasonic is like $1.95. It is not fair. It's not a fair world we live in. But even if they have that, they might not autofocus well. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Oh, little penny boy. Where have you been? Autofocus so smooth. We're on the G9, like a 15mm 1.7. Just pay attention to it. I saw it draw a box. Does it distract you? Because there's moments, if you just sit here, for the most part, that light, we'll see. If it, it's not really, I needed a Christmas bulb. But if you're just chilling, it'll hold you. But will it hunt? So here's the deal. Panasonic and Fuji are in the same boat. It's a weird boat. The Fuji has phase detect, but all their lenses are too old. They never foresaw phase detect in the future. They were like, no way that's gonna happen. We'll just do it the regular, where crickets hop and jump and that's how it focuses. So Fuji's out here making cricket detect autofocus lenses and they're not good. Every lens, I wanna buy the 23 mil 1.4. I wanna test it, but I know it's gonna jump and cricket like fashion. The problem with Fuji is they're not fixing it. They have a bunch of new stuff on the way, all these new lenses coming out, roadmaps everywhere. They haven't addressed that issue, so that might sink them, like the Bismarck in 1946. I'm getting closer, you know it. Panasonic's in a possibly even worse situation than Fuji, because they don't have phase detect even, and they have bad lenses that can't autofocus. Like, you have to replace your whole lineup at this point? Or do they? Maybe they don't. I'm so in focus, the whole video. You thought it was a Sony a7 IX? It is. Oh, hey, Olympus. I didn't realize you could use this lens as well. That is, that is something all right. It's almost as if he prefers looking at the Q-Link because there's a two-for-one sale going on right now. The Olympus just knows that kind of thing. If you use my link down below, it's 50% off. That's quite the... Usually YouTubers bring in the 10% code. Hobo ass photographers, that doesn't work. I ate hot dogs this morning. Huh? The Q-Link doesn't work. I add hot dogs to my cereal. I don't feel any better. You're scamming people, bro. What's up? Case in point, we take Olympus. Olympus was the smarter of the two companies, even though they failed. That's not a sign of success, staying in business. Don't, you, don't, you didn't take business school like I did. Their lenses can do phase detect. So you have amazing phase detect autofocus in here with this Olympus 12mm Tony 2? Beautiful, I'm never out of focus ever and it's smooth, doesn't lose you. With all the Olympus lenses, works great. Fantastic, it's like almost Sony level. Maybe, maybe not. I put this Leica lens on here? Nope, it just loses me all the time, it's the lens. So Panasonic has all these lenses, even if they get phase detect in the GH6, what are you gonna do? The Panasonic, the 12 mil, 21.4, gone, are your face. They're gonna have to redesign the whole system, even though it's performing perfectly in every situation I would ever need it to. It's so smooth that I can't even... What do you choose right now in this interesting situation? It's still picking me. Good job. What if a Gerald Undone plate would... That's a good shot. That's a good shot right there. Don't pretend it isn't. I 
should check the good content handbook for that. No, it's, oh boy. Let me try to show you an example. It probably won't work right now that I want it to, but we're on the Olympus EM13 with the 12 mil Tony 2 Olympus lens, and it's always smooth. It never loses you, ever. I could sit here the whole show, you'd think I'm on a Sony. And we'll switch to the Leica lens. Even though this is amazing, it just won't work. Okay, now we're on the Leica lens. It's probably not gonna matter. Just in this situation, it's hard, but outside, it loses me where it never would before. It's probably perfect. Oh, I'm gonna have to show footage of old videos. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's even better than the Olympus lens. The whole video is a waste. We learn nothing. We never do. Let me just address an elephant in the room. I trash Panasonic on a regular basis. It's how I make my living. There's some people that say this is good enough. Honestly, in the S5, not bad. Full frame. They got new algorithms. They didn't bring it down in here. Nor am I allowed to use Vlog, a picture profile. It costs like $300 to get that. I could buy a new camera, a better one. Canon T6i. Some people say oh, Panasonic autofocus, it's great. So I'm watching your videos. I'm seeing pulsing. I'm seeing little shifts. Uh -oh. Oh. Little walls caving in. The thing is, sometimes it's okay. Other times it's not. You can never rely on it. If you go outside, forget that life. It'll lose you so much, we'll try it. It's the unpredictability of the whole system that frightens me. I think Panasonic, there's a rumor, they had a boardroom meeting. A new employee came to the office. He was confused about how their depth from defocus technology worked, but they sorted it out, I'm sure. Oh, hey, new kid, welcome to the team. We here at Panasonic, we, we only strive for the best here. We do it hard. 10-bit, that was us. We started that. What are you going to bring to the table, little whippersnapper? Thanks for letting me on the team, boss. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait to get started fixing stuff. I've been using Panasonic since day one. Not one video I've ever shot. It's been in focus. That's my goal here. I'm going to bring good focus to you. You can count on me, boss. I don't think that's a priority. What are you talking about? We have the depth from defocus system. It's contrast detect, superior in every way to phase detect. You're not gonna bring a phase detect pixel to us, are you? Because we don't need it. Are you serious? There, there's reports of pulsing. There's a lot of pulsing and hunting and second guessing. I shot a wedding once. There was so much pulsing, it looked like a disco. A dance off broke out in the middle of the ceremony. My uncle broke his back. He broke his back. Bones heal, young whippersnapper. You, what you can't heal is a phase detect pixel banding in your wedding. That's why we rely on contrast detect. You know how it works, right? Well, that's the problem. It doesn't work, ever. It's a contrast detect system. If there's any lights brighter than your subject, it, you're out. The whole game's over. You can't expose... What, what do you expose for that light? That can't... Take attention away from the bride. Timmy, we don't have that problem. You must be mistaking us for another company. Maybe Sony. I've seen them struggle quite a bit. Depth from defocus. Let me just explain how it works. It's flawless. What do you want to be in focus? How about a human face? Preferably the eye. It's not a problem. You've seen the boxes. We have an eye detect box. It follows you around on the screen. It's easy for us. Yeah, the box is cool. It looks like it's tracking you, but when you get the footage back, you're out 50% of the time in a d devastating way. Just leaps. You must have had a setting wrong or something. I've never heard of this complaint. This, this depth from defocus. Let me explain something here. You want the pupil in focus. Pick your depth from that focal point that you would like to unfocus on. 
See, this is the problem, boss. Why do we have to reach to an out-of-focus area when you can just detect the eye itself? Patience, little Timmy. Rome wasn't built in a day, and the Romans definitely aren't still alive, controlling the Earth from Greenland. That would never happen. Pick the depth from the eye that you prefer. One inch. Timmy, give me a challenge. Oh, this is going to be easy. One inch. So you want the pupil in focus. Panasonic depth from defocus technology acquires one inch behind the pupil first. That's your first step. Then it's a simple calculation. Oh, one inch forward? No problem. So we check one inch, and then we reassure ourselves by checking back to the one inch depth from part that wasn't focused, and then simply move back and forth 17 times to calculate for sure that this pupil is going to be in focus. And we nail it every time. You can't even see the movements back in there. It's barely even. A, unless you have tree, do you have Christmas tree light? Sometimes, yeah. The out of focus parts, everything looks like a Christmas tree. It's all pulsing. Every single ball in the back, you ball back bitch. The pulsing doesn't happen. We fixed it. We, we sped up the algorithm. So instead of doing this, back, it used to happen, admittedly. Now it's just like a couldn't even see that. Come on, you're complaining about nothing here. Sir, it's our only flaw. That's what I've been brought to this earth to fix. I can do it. The humans, we've moved on from contrast detect. I can bring it to us. Humans used to watch TV with the change in the channel. They had to get up to change it. Now we have a remote for people dumb enough to own a TV and watch it. We've moved on. I suppose you're right, Timmy. The world's moved on. They don't appreciate the time it took to perfect our system. We're going to move on from it. Instead of focusing on the depth from the focal point, we'll shorten the distance of the depth first of all. And then we'll calculate less jumps, but do it even faster. So it's just like a you're not even seeing this. Oh, little penny boy. How do you glide like that? Who taught you how to glide? Who taught you? Wow. Fantastic. Am I disrupting people's lives? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Vloggers are always in the way. It's a problem. So when comparing, I've realized this. Full frame lenses for wide. Wide angle, you go full frame. It's easier. When you try to make something wide on a Panasonic boy with equivalent tone, it's just as big or heavier and more expensive. There's no advantage. It's when you have the, your little telephotos, your 85 mil 1.7, something like that, sacrifice a little tone. You got a tiny little lens. Like this thing is tiny. The 15 mil 1.7, it's glorious. It better not have lost me once. Sure, I challenge you. With glasses, a strange hat. You better be up to the task. Take for instance, the Sony G Master 24 mil 1.4. If you tried to make an equivalent Panasonic lens, it'd be heavier and more expensive because the 12 mil 1.4, which is half the tone, which really is less than half, I've realized it. Cause I stopped things down matching it. It's like, okay, Tony two here, I'll do Tony four on, it's still blurrier on the full frame. That two times thing crop thing is a lie. The real advantage to Panasonic is sacrificing the tone and then you're lighter. Then you got something. APS-C has the same problem. I almost pounced on that Fuji 8 to 16 because I saw it on sale. It was like 1500. I'm like, that seems cheap. And I look it up brand new. It's like 2700 plus tax. And this was 1500. I'm like, I should pounce on it, but it's so stupid. It's a dumbass lens, 2.8, the heaviest thing ever. Even for a studio lens, I think it's too wide, not enough tonne. 
there's still hope, of course, for Panasonic. If the GH6 comes with a course on how to manually focus, and they do something special with like new manual focus features that are automatic somehow. The problem is like all these lenses are focused by wire anyway. So it's like, I'm a professional bro, only manual focus. Then you have to get the cine lenses. You're an anamorphic freak. I hope a demon attacks you in your dreams like he does mine. Contorted ass demon bodies in my dream. Is it latching? Seems to be. But with Panasonic, like everything's in focus anyway. So I've seen so many tests. It seems like they're at Tony 8 doing like, oh, can look how much better it is. Every single thing in the frame. I'll leave. So I wouldn't be holding your hopes out for a Panasonic GH6 with phase detect and okay, now you can't just use all the other lenses. You can use Olympus lenses probably. And they have good lenses, so. Crisis avoided. Averted? Your mom's diverted. I used three different words, and I still don't know which is the right one. I'm gonna leave after you buy a Camera Conspiracy t-shirt. I didn't die. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you later.